Mary Thibodeau, 1808-1881, was a remarkable woman. She was kind, intelligent, headstrong, and never once told a lie. She was also a voodoo high priestess. She lived her entire life in New Orleans, establishing a reputation from an early age as a potent healer and clairvoyant. People traveled for miles to simply visit her. Although many more sampled her legendary concoctions, by the 1870s she had simultaneously become one of the most feared and revered figures in Louisiana. In 1981, a landowner named Jacob Parrish traveled in New Orleans from Baton Rouge. Parrish was vastly wealthy and devoutly religious, but possessed a morbid fascination for the occult. He had hired a platoon of ex-soldiers from the recently concluded Civil War and with them he marched down Bourbon Street and into Mary's store. Despite the protests of her assistants, Mary granted Parrish an audience. He had heard rumors that the great voodoo queen had discovered the secret to eternal life and demanded that she yield it to him. Never flustered, Mary corrected him. She had indeed discovered the ritual that would grant immortality, but only for a set period of time, fifty years to be exact. Once performed, the subject would rise again after his natural death, having no need for food, air, or water, immune to disease, and utterly impervious to bodily harm. After the fifty years elapsed, however, the subject would die once more, never to rise again. Frustrated by this revelation, Parrish nevertheless knew by his reputation to be an honest woman, and would not pass up the opportunity to live beyond his natural lifespan. Mary agreed to conduct the ritual for him, as long as he vowed to leave New Orleans permanently once it had been concluded. The parish agreed, and the ritual was performed. True to his word, Parrish returned to the Baton Rouge later that day, but not before ordering his mercenaries to murder Mary and burn the apothecary down. Louisiana folk are renowned for their superstitions, which many are buried. It was unusual, however that dozens would later swear that they had been seeing disembodied shadows making their way up in Massey up to the parish mints that night. The following morning, the fifteen mercenaries were found with their necks snapped, as though they had been twigs. Parrish himself was discovered in his bed, wide-eyed and apparently terror-stricken. His throat toned down with such ferocity that the state coroner had to force to conclude that a bear somehow made its way into the locked door. Hints of black magic were lost on locals, however, who promptly buried the sixteen bodies in Magolia Cemetery. Mary Thibodeau was a remarkable woman. She never told a lie. But that is not to say that she never withheld the truth. What she had not disclosed was that the resurrection would not take place until seventy-two hours after death. When Parrish's grave was exhumed in real occasion in 1953, Puzzled excavators noted the singularity deep gouge marks found inside the coffin lid.